In the second season, eighth episode of the series Into the Dark, titled Delivered, we follow the story of Val, our protagonist, who is in the final stages of her pregnancy. As the episode begins, we see Val, nine months pregnant, visiting her doctor for a routine checkup. She attends the appointment alone, a point of contention that will later arise between her and her husband. During the checkup, the doctor reassures Val that her baby is healthy and that she can expect to give birth in about three weeks. The doctor, aware of Val's previous decision to not know her baby's gender, inquires if she might have changed her mind. Val reaffirms her choice to keep the baby's gender a surprise, and the doctor respectfully honors her decision. This scene not only sets the stage for the events that follow, but also highlights Val's independent nature and her desire for a certain unpredictability in her life. After the appointment, Val meets up with her husband, Tom. They have plans to attend a prenatal exercise class, which Val is keen on as she believes it will help ease both her pregnancy and postpartum recovery. On their way to the class, Tom expresses his disappointment over Val's preference to attend her doctor's appointments alone. This conversation sheds light on the dynamics of their relationship, hinting at underlying tensions and differences in expectations. Upon arriving at their destination, an awkward encounter unfolds. Tom comes face to face with another pregnant woman. Attempting to ease the tension, Tom engages her in conversation, asking about her due date. The woman's response is unexpected and somewhat unsettling as she feigns ignorance about being pregnant. Taken aback by her bizarre reply, Tom quickly apologizes, but the woman reveals she was just joking. Her strange sense of humor leaves Tom slightly bewildered as he rejoins Val. Following their prenatal breathing exercise class, Tom and his wife Val decide to visit the cafeteria. Val, with a craving for normalcy in her heavily regulated pregnancy life, playfully requests a latte from Tom. He, concerned yet indulgent, agrees to get her the treat after confirming it's safe for her to have a bit of caffeine. While Tom is away, Val encounters the same pregnant woman from earlier, Jenny, who approaches her with a friendly manner. Jenny inquires if Val is Tom's wife, sparking a conversation between the two women. Jenny then takes a seat next to Val and begins to share details about her life. She reveals that she and Tom were acquaintances in school, adding a layer of familiarity to their interaction. When Val curiously asks about the father of Jenny's child, Jenny hints at a complicated personal story, suggesting she doesn't have a husband. Tom returns with Val's latte, greeting Jenny with a casual familiarity. Jenny offers to vacate the seat for Tom, but he politely declines, mentioning that he has some other tasks to attend to and leaves the two women to continue their conversation. This casual interaction between Jenny and Val quickly blossoms into a more profound connection as they share stories and experiences, finding common ground in their respective journeys of motherhood. That evening, at home, Tom expresses his eagerness to assemble the crib they purchased for their unborn child, seeking Val's help. However, Val, exhausted from the day's events, suggests postponing the task. Tom agrees, and they retire for the night. The tranquility of the night is shattered when Val experiences a horrific nightmare. In her dream, her baby struggles violently to be born, causing her stomach to stretch and contort unnaturally. The nightmare reaches a terrifying climax as the baby seemingly rips through her stomach, jolting Val awake, drenched in sweat from the sheer terror of the dream. Shaken, Val makes her way to the bathroom to compose herself. Upon returning, she hears noises from another room and decides to investigate. To her surprise, she finds Tom, deeply engrossed in the task of assembling the crib, ignoring her request to stop. His fixation on getting it right, repeatedly consulting the manual, leaves Val feeling helpless and disconnected. Amidst these domestic tensions, Val continues to receive persistent emails and messages from Riley. However, she chooses to ignore and delete them, indicating a desire to distance herself from whatever complications Riley represents in her life. This episode subtly weaves together themes of maternal anxiety, relationship dynamics, and the intrusion of past connections, setting the stage for the unfolding drama in Val's life. 
Later that same day, Val attends her usual prenatal exercise class, continuing her efforts to maintain health and well-being during her pregnancy. After the class, she decides to spend some time at a cafe with her new acquaintance, Jenny. As they engage in conversation, sharing their hopes and desires, Val spots Riley, a figure from her past outside the cafe. She excuses herself from Jenny and steps outside to meet him, indicating that Riley's unexpected appearance has unsettled her. Riley confronts Val about her lack of response to his calls and texts. He reveals that he has traveled all the way from California specifically to see her, implying that there are unresolved issues between them that need addressing. Val, perhaps feeling cornered or overwhelmed by his sudden appearance, agrees to meet Riley at noon two days later. She quickly urges him to leave, wanting to keep this part of her life separate from the new friendship she has formed with Jenny. Jenny, curious about the interaction, steps outside and questions Val about Riley. Val dismissively refers to Riley as just a close friend, downplaying the nature of their relationship, and quickly changes the subject. This interaction hints at the complexity of Val's personal life and the secrets she might be harboring. Val's troubled state of mind is further evidenced by her continued experience of disturbing nightmares about her unborn child. The intensity of these dreams reflects her growing anxiety and apprehension about her impending motherhood. In a twist of events, Val and her husband Tom encounter Jenny again as they leave the exercise class. Jenny approaches them with a hesitant yet earnest invitation to dinner at her house. She is careful to assure them that there will be no hard feelings should they decline the offer. Val, perhaps seeking to strengthen this budding friendship, accepts the invitation, noting that they have no plans for the following night. Jenny provides them with her address and departs, leaving them with the anticipation of the dinner. Tom's reaction upon reading Jenny's address is one of disbelief. He comments on the surprising fact that Jenny lives far from the city center, implying a sense of isolation or remoteness about her residence. The following day, Tom and Val embark on their journey to Jenny's remote home for the promised dinner. As they drive through the seemingly endless roads leading to Jenny's place, Val begins to understand Tom's initial shock at the address. The distance and isolation of Jenny's home become increasingly apparent, creating a sense of apprehension about their destination. During the car ride, Tom shares a warm smile with Val, sparking her curiosity. When she inquires about his smile, Tom cryptically remarks that it will happen at any time. Confused, Val presses him for clarification, and Tom explains that he's referring to their imminent transition into parenthood. This revelation unexpectedly saddens Val, and she earnestly asks Tom to always be there for her and their baby, regardless of the circumstances. Tom, somewhat puzzled by her intense plea, assures her of his unwavering support, acknowledging that this commitment is a given. Eventually, after what feels like a prolonged journey, they arrive at Jenny's residence. The mansion is strikingly large and sits alone, secluded in the woods, far from the hustle and bustle of the city. Tom and Val are impressed by the elegance and coziness of Jenny's home as they are warmly welcomed inside. While exploring the house, Tom encounters Jenny's cat and attempts to pet it, only to be startled by the animal's aggressive reaction. Jenny soon joins them and apologizes for not warning them about her pet's unpredictable behavior. As Jenny finalizes the dinner preparations, the group moves to the balcony to enjoy the serene natural view and engage in casual conversation. It's then that Tom notices a flat tire on Jenny's car. Ever the helpful guest, he offers his assistance in fixing it, leaving the women to continue their chat on the balcony. That evening, the pleasant dinner at Jenny's house takes a sinister turn. Tom and Val enjoy the meal, playfully exaggerating how long it's been since they've had such a delicious dinner. Jenny graciously accepts their compliments and gets up to clear the plates, stepping away to the kitchen. During this moment, Tom notices Val beginning to doze off. Initially, he doesn't think much of it, but a closer look reveals that something seems off. He moves to support her, suggesting that they should head home since she appears overly sleepy. Jenny, overhearing the conversation, casually suggests that Val could rest in the guest bedroom instead. In a shocking and abrupt twist, as Tom is attending to Val, Jenny silently approaches him from behind and brutally attacks him with an axe, striking him on the head. Val, deep in her unintended slumber, 
is oblivious to the horrifying act that has just occurred. When Val awakens, she finds herself in a nightmare scenario. She's bound to a bed with ropes, alone and confused. Panic-stricken, she screams for help, struggling against her restraints. Her terror intensifies when she sees Jenny standing before her, her pregnancy facade now gone, revealing a flat belly. Val quickly realizes that Jenny isn't the person she and Tom thought she was. Jenny coldly confesses to pretending to be pregnant and, more chillingly, to killing Tom. Val, filled with rage and despair, demands to know why Jenny is doing this. Jenny reveals her twisted motive. She intends to take Val's baby for herself. After disposing of Tom's body in a nearby river, Jenny returns, acting as if nothing has happened. She offers Val soup for breakfast, callously reminding her to think of the baby's well-being, even as Val remains shackled by a steel chain. Feeling trapped and desperate, Val contemplates escape but is quickly disheartened, realizing she has no viable plan. During this tense moment, Val's phone rings. Jenny answers it and sees the name Riley on the display. She confronts Val about Riley's identity, growing angry when Val doesn't provide a clear explanation. Jenny's outburst reveals her possessive and controlling nature as she resents not knowing every aspect of Val's life. Jenny, troubled by the conversation she had with Val the day before, becomes increasingly restless. Val's words about people noticing their absence and someone coming to rescue her haunt Jenny. Driven by her growing unease, Jenny confronts Val in the living room, demanding she unlock her phone so Jenny can uncover the true identity of Riley, the mysterious figure from Val's life. Val, however, has been cautious. She had previously deleted all messages between her and Riley, leaving no trace of their correspondence on her phone. Frustrated by this dead end and unable to find any incriminating information, Jenny gives up her interrogation. Nevertheless, she presses Val further, asking about her relationship with Riley. Val maintains her composure, reiterating that Riley is just a close friend who will soon come looking for her. Meanwhile, Riley, concerned about Val's unusual behavior and absence, decides to act. He waits for her for hours, but as time passes with no sign of Val, he grows increasingly anxious. Trusting his instincts that something is wrong, Riley heads to Val's house to check on her. Upon arrival, he finds the front door ajar and the house creepily empty. Inside, a crucial piece of evidence catches his eye, a piece of paper with Jenny's address written on it. Back at Jenny's house, Val finds herself alone as Jenny, frustrated and angry about not knowing the full story of Riley, leaves the house. Seizing the opportunity, Val starts rummaging through Jenny's belongings, searching for any clues that might help her understand Jenny's motives. Her search leads her to a shocking discovery in an old newspaper article, revealing a traumatic incident from Jenny's past involving her parents and the death of her unborn child. This revelation sheds light on Jenny's twisted actions and her obsession with Val's baby. Suddenly, Val hears a noise outside. Realizing it's not Jenny, she starts screaming for help, hoping someone might hear her. Riley, who has arrived at Jenny's house in search of Val, hears her desperate cries. He forcefully breaks down the door, rushing to her aid. Once inside, Riley quickly sets about freeing Val from her restraints, embarking on a mission to rescue her from the dangerous situation she's found herself in. Soon after, a pivotal revelation unfolds. Riley, who arrives to rescue Val, is exposed as the father of her child. Their emotional reunion is abruptly cut short when Jenny returns to the house. In a shocking repeat of her earlier violence, Jenny attacks Riley from behind with an axe, mercilessly striking him several times and ultimately killing him. Val, who had initially managed to free herself, is now in a desperate bid to escape Jenny's clutches. However, her attempt to flee is frustrated as Jenny captures her and forcibly brings her back to the house. That night, Jenny, enraged by Val's deception, forcibly administers a sedative to Val with a terrifying intention to surgically remove the baby from Val's womb. Val momentarily regains consciousness amidst the ordeal, her vision blurred and disoriented. She witnesses Jenny talking to herself, an unsettling glimpse into Jenny's unstable mind, before losing consciousness again. The next morning, Val awakens to a harrowing reality. She discovers a bandage on her stomach and realizes, to her relief, that Jenny couldn't complete the surgery. Her baby is still inside her. 
This realization strengthens Val's resolve to protect her unborn child at any cost. She reassures her baby that despite her initial hesitations about motherhood, she will never let Jenny harm them. In the climactic final scenes, Jenny is lured by a noise to a room where she finds Val covered in blood. Believing Val has killed her own baby, Jenny approaches with a mix of triumph and curiosity. However, as she nears, she discovers her cat lying dead, not the baby. In an unexpected turn of events, Val, fueled by maternal instinct and survival, rises and strikes Jenny in the neck, effectively ending her reign of terror. The episode concludes with Val in a hospital, cradling her newborn daughter. This emotional moment symbolizes not only the end of her nightmarish ordeal, but also the beginning of her journey into motherhood. Despite the trauma and horror she endured, Val emerges resilient and empowered, holding her baby girl, a symbol of new life and hope. Did this story spook you out? Let us know in the comments below. For more horror movie recaps, subscribe to our channel and we will see you in the next one. Fear awaits you.